today we're going to look at how to play an F chord. The F chord is going to probably be the first chord you look at where you start to bar strings together, which means using your finger to, to hold down more than one string at a time. The F chord, you play the bottom four strings from the F, the F being your root note, which is the third fret of the D string. You have the second fret of the G string, which is an A. You have the first fret of the B string, which is a C. And you have the first fret of the E string, which is an F. So the F chord goes from an, the root of the F to an F on the E string. Now I remember when I first tried to play an F chord, I found this really hard. You've got the stretch like you have in the C chord because you've got a finger in each fret. But now you've got that stretch still, but you also have to hold that first finger down, holding the two notes together, the C and the F, the bottom two strings. And that I found really, really, really difficult. Some people might find it easy, but personally, I find it, and I think a lot of people will find that quite hard. Remember to play the chord nice and slowly. Let each note ring out so you can hear if there's any buzzing or if there's any notes that aren't clear. So coming up, you've got the F note, you've got the C note, you've got the A note, and an F note. Going down, you've got the F, the A, the C, and the F. And you don't play the E, and you don't play the A. Now with the F, obviously you're not playing the note above the A, but with the F, that should be okay, unless you've got the finger actually on the fret, which is doubtful, because that'll just make it really stretchy, but the more possibilities is too far back here, you need to bring them fingers, and again, like more possibilities too far back, and you're not getting a clear note. So if you have to pull your fingers with this to stretch your fingers across, maybe to get them in position. Yeah. If your third finger is too flat, you're going to be muting the A note, the G string. If your A note is too flat, you may actually be playing the note underneath rather than the C. You might be hitting a C sharp or just muting the string altogether or getting a buzz. So there are things to watch out for. With the F chord, you might be better off trying to start just getting them two notes fretted together and ringing out. When you've got that, add the A note and play the three strings down from the G string, the B string, the E string. And when you've got them ringing out nicely, then try adding the F. Also come from the bottom string and from the F note, work down. If you're more happy and more comfortable using a pick, it's the same you hold. And that's how to play an F major chord.